And a lot of the people on our side, on the right, are headed to the polls with the wrong mindset. They're headed to the polls thinking about winning. Mm. And, and, and to a lot of people, that sounds strange. Well, isn't they, they're thinking, isn't that, that the objective? The objective is to win? Yeah, absolutely the objective is to win. But how we win matters. Why we win matters. What we win matters. As I've said many times before, we don't move the needle. And what I'm saying is this. Moving the needle means we have to change hearts and minds. We have to change the direction, which ultimately allows us to change the direction of the country. These current pundits on our side, on the right, these politicians on our side and on the right, they're not interested in the whole truth. They want to skim off certain things because they don't want to offend the left. So they want to avoid talking about social issues. And I've said this many a times, America can be fiscally prosperous, okay? We can even erase our debt, but we will still collapse because it does America no good to be fiscally prosperous and to eventually erase our debt if we're morally bankrupt. It does us no good. I don't care how prosperous the American house is, if the American house is going to abandon its morals and values as we are doing very rapidly. And listen, the left abandoned morals and values, Democrats, liberals, progressives, they, they abandoned morals and values a long time ago. But now what do you see? Now you see our side, the right, conservatives, Republicans, pundits, and politicians abandoning social issues because they're more interested in winning elections. And then when they win elections, which is the prime opportunity for you to start moving the needle as it relates to hearts and minds and try to prevent this country from, from becoming even more morally corrupt and bankrupt, they don't even take that opportunity to do it. They don't take the opportunity when we win to actually go out, find the swamp, the peop the, those people in that, that consist of the swamp, that make up the swamp, and prosecute these people. And Mike, this has to stop. This election, I'm telling people, is all for nothing. If we're just content with getting Trump over the finish line and rah, 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 Trump wins, everything's going to be okay now, you are deceiving yourself. Trump has to go over the finish line with a certain agenda. Mm -hmm. But the, more importantly, the people have to be behind him, forcing him, pushing him, to promote this agenda. And this agenda has to be obviously a pro-American agenda. It has to be very aggressive. But more than anything, it has to be a Judeo-Christian agenda. Because right. people say, well, we're not a theocracy. Listen here. I don't care where you go in the world. I don't care what country you're in, America included. That country, every country on this planet has some sort of a religion or religious beliefs that they adhere to, okay? But, if you go to India, they will let you know that they are a Hindu nation. Right. If you go to Saudi Arabia, they will let you know that they are a Muslim nation. Right. Every nation that you go to identifies with a, a belief system that's built around a particular religion. Right. But here in America, we've gotten so caught up into uh, 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 liberalism and, and not offending people that even now the people who used to be the moral majority, meaning Republicans and conservatives, they don't even want to identify our country with a particular religion, in particular Judeo-Christian religion and Judeo-Christian beliefs. That's because the left has compromised the right and convinced the right to only focus on fiscal matters and leave social matters off the table. This country will die. It will cease to exist if we think that we can ignore morality. This country will die if we think that we can ignore the one truth, which is Christ Jesus. It's over for us. And we need the majority of voters and the majority of people in this country to once again identify with Genesis through Revelations and Judeo-Christian values. Now, let me say this 
Americans, particularly you evangelicals, you need to understand that if, this is why it's so important to vote. If you save America, and, and Mike, you're going to get this. If you save America, you literally say you literally save souls. Now let me explain. I'm not saying if Trump wins, you save souls. I'm not saying that the Republicans win, you save souls. I'm not saying if conservatives win, you save souls. I'm saying if you save America, and the only way you can save America, yes, we have to get our politicians over the finish line, but that is meaningless if they don't cross that line toting the word, subscribing to the word, believing in and promoting the values of the word. Right. And there's only one word, and that's Genesis through Revelations, okay? So here's, here's what I'm telling you. We know, you know, the world knows. That's the reason why the world is so adamantly against the United States. And here's what they know. And here's what I know. And here's what you know. Our country has led more souls to Christ than any other country on the planet because we were founded on the Judeo-Christian values. And our country has sent people all across the world, missionaries, into the deepest, darkest places on this globe. Our country has broadcasted via radio and television. The word, preachers, preaching. No other nation has done that. No, America, America has brought the word to the world. And now the country that brought the word to the world has now decided that it's in their best interest to turn their back on the word, to ignore the word, to shy away from the word and even be embarrassed by the word. Because when they say, oh, we're going to leave social issues alone, the only reason why you're leaving social issues alone because you know if we stand firm and represent these social issues, if we stand firm against the sodomites, if we stand firm against the pro-abortionists and so on and so forth, we know, everybody knows why we're doing that. We're only doing that because we stand with the word. Right. So now they want to, to abandon the word, our morals, our values. Uh, the uh, Republicans and conservatives used to proudly identify with the term more moral majority. And now the left has made that out to be something to be embarrassed about. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about the moral majority, Republicans are embarrassed. In particular, Republican pundits, conservative pundits, Republican politicians and conservative politicians. They will not do it. They will not talk about it uh, from that context.